my name is uh, Patrick Murphy. I'm an assistant professor of biology um, at the University of Prince Edward Island. Um, so a significant part of my labs is, is really interested in looking at specific molecules in the cell like metabolites that we, um, you know, you engulf food and then you turn that into little metabolites. And those, we're finding out um, that these metabolites actually interact with other molecules in the cell uh, and have a very influential role in how our cells behave. Um, and so our lab actually works on understanding these interactions better. Um, and one of the projects that we, we initiated um, was to looking at a specific subset of breast cancer cells um, that express um, a protein that makes some, uh, an amino acid called serine. Um, and serine gets made into uh, several other downstream metabolites um, that uh, we, we, we don't fully understand what they do in the cell. Um, and so this award actually allows us to sort of get that project going uh, as part of our overall um, lab goal of understanding better what these small molecules might actually do in the cell. And it brings us into this new area of um, um, cancer cell metabolism. Um, so I think that, I think the immediate impact is, is really um, specifically with this award where it's focused on, uh, focused on specific subtypes of breast cancers um, is that, you know, there, this specific, specific type of, of breast cancer is actually very hard to treat. It's called triple negative breast, breast cancer. Um, and so there are researchers all around the world looking for alternative strategies to treat this type of cancer. Um, and it just so happens that, that the pathway we're studying is actually um, sort of a, in the last 10 years or so been really focused on because it's, it's, it tends to be uh, very prevalent in those types of cancers and provides us new opportunities to look at different ways to target them. So that's an immediate way, I think, that we can make a difference by understanding what these molecules, by studying these molecules in, in, in cells like that. Um, <clears throat> more broadly, I think, to understand um, how metabolites, um, the, the role that they play in the functioning of cells in general uh, has a more broader, a more broader um, impact on other diseases like, um, um, like diseases of the immune system and so on and so forth. And, and more generally, just how um, cells, maybe they're human cells, maybe they're cells of another species, uh, actually works uh, to uh, how the metabolism, how small these small molecule metabolites actually function in those and ha can have pretty broad effects. Well, the, I think the unique thing about the Banting Foundation specifically um, is that specifically this award uh, tends, to, tends to support um, projects that are um, more basic in nature and, and, and are just getting started. Um, and so that is really helpful because what, what it allows um, researchers like myself to do is sort of start new projects in the lab um, that um, we can start some early explorations into some really interesting things that we found in biology. Um, and the really cool advantage of, of the Banding Foundation Award um, is, is um, it allows us to actually bring this forward to other granting agencies so that we can even leverage this, this data and these preliminary findings for other things. As a, I guess, an early career investigator, um, one of the real challenges is, is, is managing um, so many different balls in the air, um, getting a lab started, recruiting graduate students, um, teaching classes, um, all of these things. And it, it really takes away from your ability in many cases to, um, to uh, apply for funds and, and really uh, be successful in that. Um, and so, and, and, and on top of that, as a new investigator, you're often competing with more established researchers. Um, and so the ability of the Banting Award to be focused on solely on early career researchers like myself, um, I think is really beneficial in that it sort of allows us to be in a somewhat of a different pool um, and allows us to jumpstart our, our research programs.